What's up, y'all? We back. As y'all can see, we in the warehouse again. So that means it's another tutorial video. And I'm doing this video, as you can see, I'm showing you how you can make your own high quality samples at home. This is something I don't see a lot of people doing. Everybody's running the manufacturer route and there's nothing wrong with that. But I know there's somebody starting out and I'm doing this video for y'all or somebody that don't know how or didn't know this was possible. I'm doing this video for y'all. So do me a favor and hit that like button. This video should have over 200 likes. So without further ado, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your own high quality sample at home with a process called DTF transfers. And what DTF transfers are, they're plastisol ink transfer, similar to like vinyl or heat pressing with vinyl, but way higher quality. It's screen print ink on a piece of paper. And I'm gonna put my supplier in the bio so you guys can head over and tell her Dre sent you just so you can get DTF transfers as well. I show you on one of my invoices that my DTF transfers normally don't cost me that much money. I think at most on 25 pieces on a 20 by 20 size. Yes, that's right, guys. They can do jumbo DTF transfers. And I'm going to show you guys. I wish I could show you guys and make y'all feel how great these DTF transfers do feel. But let me tell you guys, bro, it's amazing. I've used them for not only samples. I've used them for bulk orders as well. And they're great but they're not even that expensive and not many people are using them right now. So if you're just starting out and you don't know where to go and you want to get samples and your manufacturer told you it's going to be $80 for a sample or $150 for a sample and that might be too much for you, this is another inexpensive way you can make a sample. And today we're in the warehouse and we're going to be making a hoodie. I'm going to show you guys. Boom. All right, guys, for the rest of this video, we're going to be on the screen printing side of the warehouse because that's where our heavy duty heat press is. And that's what we're going to need to do this jumbo DTF transfer print for the sample. But even before we get into that, I just want to say, bro, look where we at, bro. I have two big screen printing machines and a big dryer in this 15,000 square feet warehouse, bro. I'll show a picture, bro. I started seven years ago and I was printing in my backyard. This just goes to show, guys, if you just keep at it from your humble beginnings, you never know where you might end up. So that's why I'm even doing videos like this, just to show you guys how to scale and how to start small and just keep going, guys. One day you could be somewhere like this. Who knows? Okay. I got my heat press heat up. I have a made blank hoodie right now on that we're gonna print on. It's a size medium, it's the recess blank. I think those hoodies are around like $25 to $29 a hoodie, if not a little bit cheaper than that. I'll put the link in the bio for those hoodies. What I really wanna show you guys with the DTF transfers, what I love, let's say if you go out to a manufacturer and they're telling you, hey, it's gonna be $80 to $150 for a hoodie. I just got this hoodie blank for $25. I have my jumbo transfer and I'm gonna put the link in the bio for the supplier for the transfers. I got this for let's say $4 a sheet. So right now I'm at 25 plus four, I'm at $29 just for one sample right here. Way cheaper than doing $80 a sample, all right? So first thing first, what I'm gonna do, this hoodie has some wrinkles in it. I'm gonna press it for just like two seconds just to get the wrinkles out. Boom. Now that I got the wrinkles out, you want it to be no wrinkles when you're printing these transfers. I'm going to just go ahead and line up my transfer on the heat press. This transfer sheet is like 20 by 20 and I think this heat press is only 12 by 24. So I'm gonna have to print on one side move it over and print on the other side. But guys, you do not have to start out this big. You might wanna stay a little bit smaller, like a 12 by 14, 12 by 16, or whatever the case may be. But I just did a jumbo print and we're printing on the front of the hoodie instead of the back, cause I kinda wanna do like a over the pocket jumbo looking type print. So I currently got my heat press on settings 330. Um, I put it on for 15 seconds. And I gotta leave it on there for a little bit while. And remember, we're gonna be printing on both sides. So I'm gonna show you guys the finished results when I'm peeling it and how it looks when I peel. All right guys, so after I press it on both sides, on the left and the right, I let it cool down for a minute. 
So, because it's not a hot peel, it's a cool peel. And I just get it from the edge right here. I just start to peel, peel. And you want to be careful. So if you see any areas where it starts to pull up or anything like that, you want to just go ahead and just lay it back down and press right on it and just not mess it up. So right now I did a really good even press on the design. So it's not too many areas that are messing up. And since I'm doing an over, po over the pocket design, I can expect it to mess up in some of those areas over the pocket because the pocket lifts up a little bit. But so far, so good. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the ground and show you guys. But the design looks perfect so far. But one thing that I always like to do after I peel off the paper, I like to hit it one more time. So I'll do another... I'll do another hit, and that's just to, so it can sit and make sure anything that lift up that I didn't see, make sure all that stuff sits right into the design. All right, guys, as you can see here, I have the hoodie on the ground. Like, just look at the detailing. One thing I can say, the print was too jumbo for this hoodie because as you can see, I'm going over here on the sleeves. So next time I probably will shrink it down like four inches. So instead of it being like a 24 like it is right now, I'll probably just go down to a 20 or 18 by 20. That would have been perfect. But I did over the pocket perfectly, guys. Like, perfectly. Like, and this is all a DTF transfer. It's so vivid. The color is vivid. And one thing I love about this, I've done wash tests before. It doesn't wash off. It's great for a sample. It's also great for a low MOQ bulk. And what I mean by that is, I wouldn't press 100 of these unless you do have the manpower and the time. But for a small run of 12 to 50 or 1 to 24, I would definitely get some DTF transfers. Just make sure whatever item that you're using is high quality. And this is how it looks on body. Just make sure when you use DTF transfers, guys, just make sure whatever blank you use is a high quality blank. This is a 14 ounce cotton blank terry. You know what I'm saying? A terry cotton blank, 14 ounce. So it feels really great. The print looks really great on it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you can wash this as many times as possible. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I could get a fit off. Like, nobody would know. It feels just like screen print. Like, nobody would know. But like I said, it's great for small runs. Anything between 1 and 50. But if you have the willpower and you can press up 100, do it. Because I've done it before. I've pressed up 100. Yeah, about, about 80 hoodies with it. Straight DTF transfers, guys. I know a lot of people don't know about this. A lot of people is not talking about this. That's why I want to go ahead and tell you guys other ways, other alternatives to using a manufacturer because a manufacturer is not the end-all, be-all. And if you're just starting out and you don't have the 154 manufacturer, I just showed you a way how you can make your own sample as cheap as $30 and it's great quality. So if you like this video, please just like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you, guys.